Hello and welcome to another episode of Invalid Entry. My name is James Taylor. You might remember me from 14 other videos that I made uh, this month on this channel. Um, so today we're going to crack on. We're going to do a nice fast video today. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to do... Uh, we're going to bring the snow into the camel scene. And I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's going to take me a bit longer to do the prep work for it. So, back in the advent calendar, back in the shed. Uh, today what we're going to do though... You see, I've been prepping behind there. Um, we're going to tell, tell some terrible Christmas jokes because Christmas isn't Christmas without a really bad uh, Christmas cracker joke. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a very old technique which used to be done by like Eliza, which basically involves us having um, a corpus. And you can use anything as your corpus. Uh, in the past, I've used like all the lines that Hamlet has said. Uh, to generate more Shakespearean language, uh, but basically use a bunch of text. And here I'm going to inject a bunch of bad jokes, which I have in the spirit of Blue Peter prepared earlier. Okay, so there you go. I want a, a new line to be there. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to pick a string. So basically, we're going to say uh, something like um, what. Okay, so the string what, and maybe the space. And what we do is we find in here all the things that have what and we look at the next character and they're all spaces apart from that's an apostrophe but we look at all these and we basically pull out all the options that follow that that word that four characters what and we choose one of them so that would probably going to be a space because there's more spaces than there are uh, apostrophes but there are a couple of apostrophes and then what we do is we look for the last four set lists again and it will be this and we look at all the options that are good so if i now search for what with a space in the end or actually it won't be what, it'll just be the last, it'll just be hat space. And it picks all these, the next character is a G, a D, a D, it'll be another D, a D. And again, we pick one of those characters and we append that and we look for the next four characters again. So it'll be probably A, T, D at that point. And at that point, we just keep on building up until we reach either a maximum size or a new line character. When we reach a new line character, we're going to stop because we've built an entire joke at that point. Okay? Now the important thing here is not make sure you don't end up in an infinite loop because there are certain combinations here. If I get stuck in this loop here, I happen to know those, especially for four characters, those four characters only appear here. So it just goes oh, 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 oh and just gets an infinite loop anymore, evermore. Secondly, you also have to make sure that you bomb out correctly. So this isn't recursive, but it does have a bit of dodginess. So what we're going to do is we're going to define, we're going to cheat, and we're going to use a, I'm going to use an exception here. I'm going to make a custom exception called finish. So, uh, what we're going to do, choose character, I'm going to make a function here which is going to take a target uh, name and it's going to take the corpus that it wants to pick from. Uh, these are the options that it's found. Um, I'm also, yeah, length, 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 length equals length corpus. I don't want to be calculating this too often. Uh, target length equals length target. Uh, so I'm going to use the length of the target to calculate the character. So I'm currently at the start of the corpus. And what I'm going to do is, while index is less than the corp length, um, index is equal to corpus.index. Now this index function will throw an exception, which is why we're going to try and If it can't find it in there, it will throw an exception. And I want to search from the current index. I want to search from zero. But once I've found one, I want to start from after it. So if I've found this one, I want to start searching from here so it finds the rest sort of thing. So start searching the next one. Index. Uh, but I want to add on the target length. So it always jumps. Now you do need to be a bit careful about that. I could just add one on. But so then what it does is if I have a repeating series of characters, it will find that repeating. Don't need to worry about too much in this situation because of the, the contents. By the way, the quality of this, the long, the more text you have, the better generally. Uh, the quality of this really matters. You want text which is similar. You don't want to be starting having like French in there. Uh, you want a lot of English jokes or a lot of French jokes uh, or a lot of Spanish jokes. Uh, if you start mixing and matching and only have like a, you know, 10 French jokes and 10 English jokes and 10 German jokes, you'll get very broken. It won't work as effectively. Uh, but if you have like a thousand of each, it won't work really effectively. Uh, you also don't want to repeat anything in the corpus, so you don't want to joke in there twice because that breaks your statistics. Statistically, that, that is bad. Okay, So if the index is less than the corp um, uh, length, length, I think we will probably spend that today, then the options I want to append the corpus um, index. So 
So basically, if if the last if I basically pick circle, I don't want to be adding on the next character here. Right. Accept value error because if this basically can't find that in the text, it'll give me uh, accept. It's going to throw an exception. Okay. So here we are. I want to make sure that I'm not I'm not writing behind my screen. Excellent. Um, okay. So what we should now do here is we should now have options. So we print the options off at this point. Oop equals um, to a. There we go. Right. So what we're going to do then here is we're going to start off with a nice simple thing of um, text equals what with a space on the end. Uh, the target length equals uh, we're going to do f f five to begin with uh, and this matters so the size that you're using for your selection matters it gives better quality English but might reduce the randomness factor a little bit um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to do the next char equals choose char uh, uh, oh actually we'll just pass the text in for the moment and the corpus uh, and this is just going to print off the moment. So it basically it's, picked, it's gone through and it's found all these things. Now if I had one which was near the end here, if I was like dear, this, this, these characters here, if I actually put that in, then it would come back with those two dear apparently. The two jokes which end in dear. One and they both have, uh, you know, so basically it's going to pick out those options. As you can see there, if I put what in again, with a space in, if I put the, it, the options, there's more D's in here than there are C's, and I want that to be part of the probability. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to do choice equals um, random dot choi choose options. So that should pick me uh, a nice random thing. Now there is the possibility it won't find anything. So I do want to say if len options uh, is greater than naught, then I want to do that. Else raise finished. Now, if the choice equals a new line character, then I want to raise finished because I want to say that that point finished, uh, else return choice. So that should now work as a function. What we're going to do now is we're going to do max len equals 100, while max len is greater than naught, max len minus equal 1. Okay. I'm also going to put this in big try. Except uh, finished. Using these as a control features. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, we're, we're going to do here is uh, we're going to just pass on that. I'm going to print text off. Okay. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to say x is equal to the text of the minus target length to the end. So that there is actually the length, it means grab it from the end. Now this number can't be longer than your input text, I'll tell you that now for free. By hardcoding that as what, it basically means these y's will never appear. So we'll try that out in a bit. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to do next chart, we're going to bring that up here, that line in here. We're going to take x as our input here and we're going to append like that. So we're basically appending that character, then we're going round and we're taking the last five characters. So we're always appending a character and sort of chopping it along. And now we do is run that. Uh, I didn't put brackets around my print statement because even though it's in Jupyter, I still need to do it right. And I've got errors. So we haven't imported random because new film, new thing. Right. Uh, import random. There we go. Uh, but it's not choose, it's choice. And there you see, we've got stuck in a bit of loop. Now I'm really happy I put that in there because it got stuck in this what, 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 what loop. Um, and that suggests here that that I, I appended X, not the next character. So I basically, there we go. And there we now have is a random thing. Now 100 may be a bit short. I'm going to put that up to 150. Um, there we go. What happened to the man who stole an advent calendar? He was them to an L file. Uh, it's going to come out with gibberish, gibberish Christmas jokes. What has four legs, but you can can you cross a snowman with fat elves misbehave? You got twenty five days. Um, what is Santa do with a vampire? Frostbite. Now this is an interesting one because basically the moment it's locked onto vampire, 
you wouldn't have found many options, so the quality of the input at this point is locked into the end of that joke, and the moment it goes into frostbite, it's game over. It's always going to furnish that joke off. But this is going to basically generate uh, terrible jokes all the time. What do you give a dog's favourite cavil? Bark. The snowman have for her photos didn't arrive on time. One said, can you get around by ringing in a range? Bad Christmas joke generator. There you go. Um, works for other things. Works for if you have a particular person, you can grab all their text messages that you've ever sent them and you can replace them with a small shell script. Uh, you can do it in Discord. You can basically, if someone goes on holiday, you can replace that person with a small shell script. Uh, this is a beautiful small shell script for replacing people. Do not replace me with a small shell script. Um, I, I, I don't like that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you for making it this far through the video. If you like this, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow.